Alright guys, welcome back. This is sort of part 2 of the Riate Knives District 9B. Now in my previous video, which was an unboxing video, I told you guys that I would carry this knife for a couple of days and sort of get a feel of it so I can make a reasonably well-informed overview video on this knife and um, yeah, I've had this knife for about four, three or four days or so. I've carried it every single day since I got it. And I, I think I'm ready to give you guys, um, no, maybe, maybe not the best, best overview out there, but I'll give you guys my opinions on this knife, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and, well, not what I don't like about it, but what I would have seen, what I would have preferred to see changed if, if you know, if I had my say on the knife, if I were designing the knife. <clears throat> now, some quick specs. This is a 3.75 inch S35VN steel blade with an overall length of just about 8.5 inches so it's a, quite a sizable knife if you guys tend to prefer small knives then uh, this is that something to something to think about before getting this knife this has a 3 sculpted tie clip 3 uh, titanium titanium back period the clip is also titanium uh, titanium scale here titanium scale here with a stainless steel lock bar stabilizer and pivot collar. There's also a stainless steel stainless steel lock bar insert right there as evidenced by these two screws over here. Now the thumb studs here which sort of act as the blade stop are stainless steel if I'm not mistaken. Now that's about the specs. Uh, I'll give you guys a comparison, the size comparison to other knives, because from what I know, Riate knives it's is not as uh, is not as popular as other knives uh, as of today because they are fairly new. They're a fairly new company, not not that well known yet. I don't think too many makers have their knives. Okay, let me just line this up. All right, now my index fingers are actually parallel to each other at the moment. I know they don't look parallel, but it's mainly because of the camera angle. Now, in comparison to the Zabenza, which is a this is a large Zabenza by the way. In comparison to the large Zabenza, you can see that the tip of the blade is slightly longer than the Zabenza, and rightly so because the Zabenza is a three point. I want to say 3.5, 3.6 inch inch blade, whereas this is 3.75, so it should be longer. Move this down here. Now comparing it to the 0560, which is yes, which is a very very comparable knife in terms of the length uh, to the Riate, because the ZT is also a 3.75 inch blade, but I do believe that the ZT is a tad bit longer than the Riate. Yeah, just a tad bit longer. So if you own a ZT0560, then you probably know how how the dimensions are in are going to be in comparison to the Riate. Now, in terms of the thickness, let me get this to focus. Okay, in terms of thickness, I would say that the single titanium scale on the ZT is just about the same thickness as the as either one of the scales or either one of the titanium scales on the Riate. In terms of blade thickness, yeah they look about the same to me. And if so if you want to find out oh wait. Mm, I'm not sure maybe it's sort of an optical illusion with the jimping um the but in my opinion I think the Z T looks yeah they do look similar. I, I think they're similar. Not exactly sure, but uh, yeah, this is a visual comparison. I don't exactly know the specs for this knife. Not so readily available as I mentioned. So yeah, uh, but now you guys know how it sort of holds up in terms of size comparisons with a ZT0560. Um, yeah, okay, so size comparisons done, specs done. Now I'll tell you guys what I like about this knife. and. You know, let's just start with what I like about this knife first. So, number one, the price. This knife, now don't quote me on this, but from what I've heard, from what I've heard other YouTube YouTube knife makers in their videos, they're, they're telling me that 
it's around 200 bucks, 200 US dollars. Now I'm in Malaysia. I'm in Malaysia. I bought this from a local knife dealer, knife store. Uh, they, I, they, they sold it to me at a certain price. Now this price is after taking into account, um, after taking into account import tax and courier services, and of course they have to mark the price up a bit to make a profit. So I can't exactly give you guys. Uh, I can't exactly tell you guys how much I paid for it, but the general word as of now is about 200 bucks. So 200 bucks for a full titanium for rim lock knife, S35BN steel blade, 3D sculpted pocket clip. I mean, that those are just things that don't go together. I mean, for if this were an American company making this, if this knife were made in America, this would be easily about 300 bucks easily 300 bucks and um, yeah I mean there's a lot of material in this knife you have a full titanium handle, you have a uh, stainless steel insert, tight 3D sculpted clip these are things that you find you would normally find on a, a custom knife, you know the 3D sculpted clip the lock bar, and a lock bar stainless steel insert these are things that you just typically find on a custom knife and this is a production knife. It's it's in a produ production knife. So yeah, I'd say for the price, you're definitely getting a lot. Uh, you're, you're getting your money's worth, definitely. Apart from that, I I like the blade shape. I like the tanto. This is my first tanto, as well as the stone wash. It's a very practical stone wash. It glimmers a little. It's quite a photogenic, photogenic knife. And uh, this purple, it's it's not a continuous purple. I was worried about that when. When I saw pictures of this knife, I thought it was going to be some shitty, boring sort of purple, but it came out very nice. It, there are sort of a few kinds, a few hues of purple there, and it has been stone washed, stone washed very nicely. So it's a very practical finish. You won't be worried. You won't be too worried about scratching this knife or whatever. If you are the kind of person who, who is worried about scratching up your knife, you can definitely use this knife. You can definitely carry it around. And of course, even if it does get scratched up, you would not have invested so much money into this knife. Now, apart from that, ergonomics, it's a very ergonomic knife. It's very well chamfered at the edges, chamfered, sorry, chamfered, oh, sorry, about the camera. Chamfered at the edges, it's a very, very comfortable knife, no hot spots wherever. Now, because this is a Tanto, I'm guessing it's, it's more for knife fighters, so if you're that kind of guy, I'm guessing this would be very suitable for you. Um, this is the District 9B by the way. The 9A comes in a drop point. Now, I don't know if they're gonna make District 9 C's and D's and E's and whatnot in the various other blade shapes but as of today there are only two. 9A and 9B. Uh, other than that, oh, damn, what else do I like? Uh, oh, the D10, D10 is exceptionally snappy. It's very fast, very, very, oh, very snappy. There's nothing else to say about it. Um, this it reminds me of an 0801 ZT 0801, um, and yeah, I have to say the fit and finish of this knife is just fantastic. There's no blade play, no rock, whatever. The lock is not sticky. The blade centers up very well. The detent fires fantastically. The I like the premium premium look of the knife. There's the well, not it doesn't look premium, but certain things about it sort of make it seem premium, like the 3D sculpted clip, the stainless steel insert over there. These small small things, these little things, they sort of add value to the knife, and uh, I I can appreciate these things. You know, it shows that Riate, you know, they listen to the people and they incorporated these things that people sort of like uh, into this knife, this product. Now what I don't like about the knife, um, first of all, going back to the blade, I don't like the fact that this part here, it's sort of broken up into three sections. You have like a straight here, followed by a minor angle here, then another straight here, then another angle, and then another straight. I think it would have looked better if they had just made this a continuous curve. Again, that's just my opinion. Maybe you guys think uh, it's cooler this way, I don't know, but it's just my opinion. Second thing would be, I guess, the hardware, more specifically the pivot, it's just a screw. 
uh, I don't know, I, I, I feel that um, uh, they've already done so much with the knife, they could just, you know, if they could just upgrade the pivot, it would make the knife so much better, you know, don't just, you know, they've already gone the extra mile, why not go the extra meter or so, you know, so yeah, maybe the pivot, I would have liked it if they had changed the pivot, and one more, two more things, two more things, and they all revolve around this area here. Now, this part here is reasonably sharp. First time, the first day when I was playing with this knife, I could... The, the finger, the, the, the part of my hand that hurt the most, the fastest, was not my, not my flipper finger, but it was my thumb, because this part here is reasonably sharp. I could only play with this for about half an hour until my thumb just could not stand it anymore, and I had to stop. Because, yeah, it's reasonably sharp. Now, uh, I hope Riate chamfered this part in the future, because it does put it off a bit. And finally, the last thing that I don't like about this knife um, is this. See how... Uh, okay, let me just show it to you on the L560. I can do this with it. I can drop the, drop the blade and then sort of wiggle it down into the frame. I can do this with the Riate, but my thumb has to be all the way, uh, almost off the, the, the part where you engage it. Because, see, the, the uh, I don't know how to describe it, the, the D10 ball is pretty low on the lock bar. It's, it's, so you see, the, the blade still has, to tr has this much to travel until it gets past the, the D10, and then only allowing it to fall back into place. So yeah, that's what I would change. Apart from that, this is a fantastic knife. So that's it guys, I'll end my review here. Um, thanks for watching, this is a fantastic knife, I advise you guys to go get it.